So watching the Australian labour movement at the moment is like watching one of those snuff movies you get from South America where they actually kill someone. It's gruesome, it's horrific, and they've got no one but themselves to blame. We've already seen in the last 24 hours Tony Abbott, the PM, come out and gleefully announce the start of a new Royal Commission, mainly into union activities centred around the AWU, the Health Services Union. Many of those stories first broken by Fairfax. We've also seen the emergence of a new poll which is showing a slide in the popularity ratings for Bill Shorten, the opposition leader. He's already down nine points over the past month or so, which just shows you how far down Labor is sliding. They barely scraped home in the Griffith by-election, the, the old seat of the former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. And now we've got the prospect of a Royal Commission emerging where you have the former PM, Julia Gillard, almost certain to be called to give evidence before that. It just goes on and on and on. Almost every day there are new revelations of kickback, standover tactics, all that sort of stuff that you would normally see in one episode of The Sopranos, all being played out among, around the construction sites around the country. It's time for Labor to get its act together, to realise that the past has caught up with it. It can't keep going like it is, because Australia actually needs a decent opposition, and it needs a party that does represent the mass of workers in this country, but they need to think like them as well. Everyone else in Australia has actually moved on, except for the Labor Party.